This video presentation is brought to you by the Pro Mathematics Academy. Welcome back to our series on the AP slash the arithmetic sequence, right? And in this episode, we'll be looking at the formula, right? Which we can otherwise um, conceptualize as finding the nth term of the sequence, all right? And we'll close out this video by looking at some examples of how we can use the formula and apply to specific sequences, all right? So we start by considering the general form of the arithmetic progression. Right, we have our sequence a sub n, which is equal to the first term a, right? The second term is going to be a plus the common difference. And the third term is going to be a plus the common difference plus the common difference, right? And our fourth term is going to be a plus the common difference plus the common difference plus the common difference. <sighs> wow. Those are a lot of common differences. And it continues. Hmm. So we can see that the first term is A. The second term is equal to A plus 1D. The third term is equal to A plus 2D. And the fourth term is equal to A plus 3D. So from here... I should be able to guess the 500th term. Yes, I said it, the 500th term. I should be able to guess it. It's going to be A plus 499 Ds. Hmm. So whatever this number is, I'm going to just subtract 1 and times that by the number of differences. That is correct. So here we can write down the formula for the nth term, and this will give us A, which is also A sub 1, plus n minus 1, whatever this number is n, times the, num times the di common difference. Okay, and there we have it. This formula is the important formula which is going to guide us through any problem that involves an arithmetic sequence. All right? Especially when we're trying to find the nth term. All right, so let's jump into some examples. So, for example, number one, find the formula for the nth term of the sequence below. And our sequence is given by a sub n equals 5, 7, 9, 11, Continuing, okay? So let's see. When we're trying to find the formula for an arithmetic progression, the first thing we want to note is what is the first term? A sub 1 is equal to 5. And our common difference is, and our common difference is 7 minus 5. Here, this is equal to 2. Once we have those two pieces of information, we may write down our formula. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times D right and here we fill in the blanks a sub 1 is equal to 5 plus n minus 1 times 2 simplifying this gives us 5 plus 2n minus 2 which is equal to 2n plus 3 okay how would we use this formula a question could ask us to find the 17th term of the sequence. So here we would want to find a sub 17, which is equal to a plus 17 minus 1 times d, right? Or since we already have the formula, a sub 17 is actually equal to 2 times 17 plus 3. So wherever we see n in the sequence, we plug in 17. So here we have 2n plus 3. So I'm going to just plug in 17 into n. So this gives me 34 plus 3, which is equal to 37. So therefore, I'm saying this is the first term. Let's use a different color here. 
This is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. And if I should continue all the way to the 17th term, I should end up at the number 37. Did I put 34? 37, right. So with the formula for the n term, it helps us to speed up the process of counting out all the terms in the sequence just to, ar just to arrive at the nth term. Okay, and also if n is large, we might not be able to do it under examination condition. For example, if I wanted to find a sub 500, which is the 500th term in the sequence, we it would take us a very long time before we got there. But with the formula, we could just say this is 2 times 500 plus 3, and this would give us 1,000 plus 3, which is equal to 1,003. That is it for this video. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe for future post notification.